Yo, what's up, guys? Today we are reacting to this German singer, Rob Pilatus. And um, I'm doing the best of Germany. This is um, a live stream. So you're watching a snippet from a live stream and um, going through some of the biggest names. And Rob Pilatus is number seven on the list. And this is the description. It says, remembered for controversy as much as music, Rob Pilatus is the German-born dancer, model, and singer in the internationally famous 1990s R&B duo, Milli Vanilli. Their famous songs are Blame It On The Rain and Girl, You Know It's True. During the 1990 Grammy Awards, Milli Vanilli was scheduled to perform their chart-topping hits, which got nominated for a Grammy that year. However, the duo was revealed to lip-sync their music, with Pilates serving as the model face of the group. Whoa, okay. So, the United States and probably the rest of the world have a big issue with lip-sync. Um, <laughs> I don't know why, because you get the best version of the song right but then again i mean you want to see them sing live and it's a big controversy um when it comes to lip sync but let me know your opinion about lip syncing um if the artist is you know sick do you think they should cancel the show or would you rather they lip sync it but still have the show going on that's something that i always think about because you're still going to have the artist, you're still going to have the song, you're still going to have a good time, but then you're going to save the artist's, the singer's voice, you know. At least you're not going to lose money and stuff like that. But then again, some people are like, no, but I want them to sing live, you know. Anyways, this is not what the video is about. Um, we're going to react to this video. After the disastrous live performance, Palazzo started to suffer under public scrutiny. You know, why? He attempted to release other albums featuring his vocals under a new group name. However, these did not sell well. Sadly, the singer passed away at the age of 32 after struggling with substance abuse. Bro, wow. I'm not going to say that, you know, lip syncing got him killed, but, um, you know, I don't think it's that serious. Like, if somebody is lip syncing, I don't think, you know, they should go under scrutiny. It just means that they wanted the best... I think um, even Michael Jackson, there was a few times that he was accused of lip syncing because he had his mouth over his, wait, his hand over his mouth. And you can see how people are really touchy feely when it comes to um, lip syncing. But in my personal opinion, I don't, I don't think I would mind if, if an artist is lip syncing as long as it's convincing. <laughs> Fool me, but give me a good time. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I haven't sat down and thought about this, you know, um, profusely and intensely enough to give my honest opinion about lip syncing, but I think you might, and it would be interesting if you guys, um, you know, let me know in the comments. Let's go. I think I know Millie Vanilli. I'll tell you if I know it. is from the 90s a 90s rap bro oh oh i love this bro i love 90s music and the dancing too Which we 
in my ear. Stimulate my senses, girl, when you are near. Then with your positive emotion, love, nice. making and done. That's no need to bust it. It's like a girl in a bar. These feelings I get, I often wonder why. So I thought I might discuss this girl that you and I. This is such a vibe, yo. Was he from the... Well, he's from Germany, right? is you don't make these type of music man ah oh, man you know it's very very sad to lose talent i mean <laughs> it's very sad to lose anyone um but it's very sad that you know these artists they get involved with um, substance abuse and 32 years old such a young person died after struggling with substance abuse yo man it's really sad it, it really sucks it really does but hey guys this is Millie Vanilli and I really like the vibe honestly man it's sad I'm sad now <laughs> I don't know I don't know it just oh man i'm reading the comments here and bro i feel for them i do okay so over here you know it's true when you don't care if they sing or not they will be forever an icon or be forever iconic as a brazilian hey i'm a brazilian too so we're in, on the same page, I guess. I don't understand how the Americans canceled them when they were such great artists and musicians. Oh man, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop reading the comments. I'm getting emotional here. Honestly, I I, I feel like some emotions building up, and I don't want to. I, I don't want to blame anyone for for you know um, for his death. I mean, I I know like if if somebody gets canceled their mind, their mental health declines. And I don't want to blame anybody for, you know, shaming them and, and stuff like that. So I'm going to stop reading the comments because I'm, yo, I'm really getting emotional here. I just feel like crying. I really do. And I don't want that feeling because the, the song really brought me back some nostalgic vibes. Oh man, I'm gonna end the video here. So I'll see you in the next video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and let me know if I should react to more of their music. Man, take care. See you soon. Bye bye. Now you can get full access to exclusive content, special reactions to shows, series, anime, full movies, and even request a video of your choice. Just become a YouTube member or join Buy Me a Coffee today. Find out more. The link is in the description. Never break. Always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game.